Oh, you know, Corey and Sean love checkers and rallies. Oh, that's a fact. They only know it one way. Load it. They only know one speed. Meat speed. What is I meat don't speed? Know. I live here now. I pay rents here. Rallies and checkers. Fast foodies know the deal. Long time, lifelong fans of this. I had one right around the corner growing up. You had one down the street. Yep. Checkers and rallies runs deep on number six with cheese. Today, we're gonna go try their new mother. Cruncher chicken sandwich been out a little while for the smoky sweet bacon barbecue mother cruncher get a better mother the new mother cruncher chicken sandwiches chickens better at rally you know we like to load up that bacon and barbecue so mother cruncher this is a, a checkers i believe because there's two <laughs> and uh, come along so drive through let's go Can I have two um, bacon barbecue mother cruncher sandwiches, please? You want two number two? It's the bacon barbecue mother cruncher. You want two number seven? No. Just God damn it! Are you fucking with me? Thanks. Thank you. Two barbecue bacon mother crunchers. Checkers acquired. Jump cut. Excuse me. Don't drive by me when I'm talking. Bro, how many people eat McDonald's around here? that this is the McDonald's parking lot spillover. It look, you, this is like Lollapalooza what? parking. Yeah. <laughs> is, is this an event? That's wild. <laughs> all right, all you fans of this food, Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, let's open her up and see what we got. A little smushed up bun daddy likes. And whoa, losing some things. Don't lose it. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna take these pickles off. I'm not a big pickle guy. Feed the birds. Feed the birds. The pickles are for the birds. For the birds. And we got some crispy, crunchy onions. Underneath that, you got the bacon bits and the barbecue sauce and some other, I heard Sean say something about mustard of some sort. Honey must. And then there's my breaded chicken, except lost a little bit. It's got a little little chunk missing. That's oh. all right, I can live with that. And then some lettuce, and then th that's all she wrote. Ooh, that's hot. Now, I don't want to jump to any conclusions or anything here, but if you're going to call a sandwich a mother cruncher, this thing better crunch when we both bite it. Yeah. With a $200 microphone pointed at us, that should pick up the crunch if it's there. See how I flexed how much money our yeah, microphone dude. is, bro? <laughs> yeah, dude. You no, know, like, anybody cares. <laughs> Nobody cares, Sean. Nobody cares. Rallies loves to use the crispy onions on stuff, and I'm here for that. I'm about it. All right, guys. West Humboldt Park, Chicago, Illinois. Checkers, Mother Crunch. Cheers. Cheers. I got them crunch. Yep. Mm. Crunch? Confirmed. Mm-hmm. This is hot. Yeah, dude, they just made this. Mm-hmm. That uh, honey mustard sauce is pretty good. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, you're pulling the whole breast out of the... Oh, that's... My whole good. chicken came out of the whole skin. Yeah, yours is uh, not as oh, good. Yeah. Well, you got... Here... <laughs> Decides not to dive in there and hey, take it away from it. He's out of my reach. What do you want me to do? Die for it? Wow. That's not supposed to happen. I'm going to eat just the skin part. But it still tastes so good. You go to some rallies and checkers, you're going to get a sloppy dude, you know? Yeah, that's true. You got to know what you're getting yourself into. They did follow through on the crunch, though. If you can keep your chicken and your breading, you're good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Steaming. Flavor profile is great. I lost literally my entire chicken. That's crazy. Now you're just a bodybuilder. Mm -hmm. There are only four good types of chicken, all right? There's fried chicken, chicken wings, chicken parmesan, and chicken head. I want one more bite of this crunchy part. I wish they did a spicy version of this. I like spicy stuff. Yeah, I like. I love barbecue bacon, but I think over the like the barbecue angle, give me like a like a hot sauce. I feel a little weird about this chicken C-sectioning out of its crunchy crunchy skin. Yeah, and just uh, ended up on my plate, but plate. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, flavor-wise, I'm digging it. Yeah, flavor's there. I had this weird thing with checkers and rallies where my standard, I just expect stuff like this to happen. Yeah. And it doesn't even make me really that mad. <laughs> yeah. Because sometimes it's all about meeting expectation is whether or not I'm going to get angry. Yeah. You know those ejector seats and like helicopters or planes? Mm-hmm. That's kind of what happened to your chicken. Yep. It slammed the eject button and said, I'm out of here, dude. Yep. But you can't slide past Corey Wagner. That dude scooped that up and shoved it in his gullet. That's an interesting analogy because 
it didn't even really so much eject out and then and then me pick mm -hmm. it up because in reality what happened was is I ripped it out with my teeth. Mm -hmm. So you're a carnivore. It's not like because the idea of me, it's sneaking out past me uh. assumes that I didn't see it or some sort, and then I found it later. Yeah. Where in reality, I gripped it with my teeth, pulled it out of its body. It's almost like I'm a doctor performing a C-section. If doctor, doctor, give me the news. I got a bad case of loving you. You know, if you want to think of it that way. I don't, but that was better analogy. <laughs> I want to address one thing. For the maybe three people that are going to write, how do you go to Checkers and not get the fries? We're filming a couple different videos today. And if I load up on those delicious, even if I got a small, I'm sucking every single one of those down as fast as humanly possible because I have zero self-control. So I'm yeah. trying to not let my neck become the part of my body that you see first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's interesting how we have different thoughts on it. It's probably telling of what our, our stresses are in life. Yeah, oh, yeah. You're worried about your uh, your fat body. Mm -hmm. My thought process instantly is like, well, I don't want to pay for something <laughs> that I don't need to pay for. My thought is is like, well, I'm saving money. Same reason I don't get a soda anywhere. That's a good point. Never get no fries anywhere because my your stress is blowing up your face. Mm -hmm. My stress is dwindling my wallet. Yeah, financial, cosmetic. Yep, yep, There's yep. too many mirrors in my apartment for me to not get a quick glance and go, uh-oh. Oh, well, how many mirrors you got? 30 to 33. Oh, I'll rip them out. <laughs> mirror removal guy. I know a friend who would love those mirrors, Zachariah. Oh, dude, that, that guy has mirror, mirrors on the ceiling. Oh, I'd be like, oh, I won't have sex with you unless you're six feet. A dude would be like, I'll fuck you if you had six feet. You know what I mean? Like, Patreon shout out, Patreon shout out, Patreon shout out. Dude, patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese. It's how you support this show. And we always say two names of people. When you sign up, we're going to say your name. Different tiers on there, get free stuff, pick where we eat. Corey loses his pen, finds it, names it after you. Two of the three of those I were true. That. <laughs> so two names here today. Damn, I gave away the one that's not true. That's my bad. <laughs> that's your fault, man. This prize is gone. Huge fan of the show. One of my favorite people yep. who watch the show. We've gotten beers with him. Awesome dude. Big shout out to Mr. Rob G. <laughs> Donated a lot over the years. Rob upped his uh, Patreon recently to the $30 a month. Gets to choose where we want to eat. He's a selfless, awesome, amazing human being. If you do want us to eat somewhere, Rob, just shoot us a little uh, shoot us a little message or email. We'll get on it. Also, one of only three people in the history of the show that has donated consistently $250 a month at one point. That's right. Get on that Matt level. Respect. Matt respect. Imagine having Rob G bags, dude. Do you want a bag? Do I want a bag? Of course I fucking do. Patreon shout out name number two, Tony Cooper. <laughs> Tony went from $1 to $5 a month. That's a 500% increase. Bro, when you're talking stats, that's mad, mad huge increase. Imagine your salary going up 500%. Oh my God. You wouldn't be still watching this. You'd be skipping around your hometown. We'd make like 30 bucks off our YouTube videos if we went up 500%. Can't even imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese. Support the show, support creators. If you don't like us, go sign up on Patreon for another creator. Yeah, so just support somebody, bro. Support just somebody. support the arts, bro. Life's short, dude. So are you. We can't all be six, one, and three quarters. <laughs> exactly. Let's rate that sandwich out of five. Checkers and Rallies actually has really good, like, little stickers and gifts and stuff online that they did on Instagram. I'd, I'm gonna do it out of the fries. Out of five of the little Bitmoji fries, how many Bitmoji fries do you give the barbecue bacon mother cruncher Checkers Corey Wagner? Before I rate this, just so, just so I wanted to say this because this is awesome. Remember when they made gifts of us? It was probably my favorite part of doing the commercial. And they used to respond to people, to yeah. people on Twitter with our gifts. Love it. Of our faces. I love it. So. We're viral on Giphy, dude. We're viral, bro. Well, flavor was amazing. It's rallies and checkers. It's always going to be delicious and dope. Now, my chicken did C-section out of its uh, birth canal onto my plate. Doctor, doctor. And I'd rather have like a fully formed. I don't want that underdeveloped chicken. I want it to stay within its uh, its skin body. No, no. Um, man, dude, just imagine looking at nothing but bones, man. I like things to be inside of their skin. Like if I ripped out you out of your skin, mm -hmm. no, thank you. I'm not trying to look. Well, at I that. got a lot to going on. If somebody ripped you out of your skin, you literally are just skin over bone. That's right. You've lost such a substantial amount of weight from in your pants that. <laughs> That's what it was from. Man, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, I need my pants way more. <laughs> this lady just shit her pants. Is that in the manual too? I did I did not shit my pants. It's a good little, little knockoff for the 
chicken incident of 2020, mm -hmm. but I'm still gonna give that a really good, I mean, if you're getting, that's not gonna happen every time. I think that was a freak Didn't accident. Didn't happen to mine. Yeah, and it's really delicious. So I'm gonna give that a, a fantastic 3.4. At the end of the day, when you go to Checkers and Rallies, like, and it's, you get, you're in and out of there in like less than five minutes, like, the flavor to me, and it needed to develop, it developed, it needed to deliver on crunch, it did the flavor, and it did the crunch. That made me very happy. Mm -hmm. I regret not getting fries. I am a fat boy. I would have loved a little dip of those and some ketchup. I'm looking at that dollar bills. I'm saying, nope, Sean. Financial. Can't do it. Cosmetic. Big neck. Uh, I was thinking 4.0. Oh, that's, that's I think that's one of the best tasting fried chicken sandwiches that's out right now as a promo. As far as like, and you know, like five-ish bucks is what it should cost you. Like, I think that I think that was like a good chicken sandwich for five dollars. Yeah. I was, I'm happy with that. We got charged more. They charge us for the Big Buford for some reason, but we got the sandwich we wanted. I don't know. Is it worth two dollars to go back there and go hi? No, you know, not today. Guys, great day. Happy Thursday. Thirsty Thursday. We're gonna go wring out our t-shirts from all this humidity yeah. and slam a brew high. We'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video, Brewing Review tomorrow. Ooh. Thanks for rocking with us. Checkers and rallies, you know we love you. Bye.